Well, the fracking is it's interesting economic experiment because going into it is clearly goes against all principles of economics. Uh, you know, it costs more money to frack than any GDP boost you might get on the other end of fracking. It, it takes more energy to frack than the energy you get at on the other side of fracking. The only thing that goes is going to increase is debt. And the fracking projects, they maybe last one, two years at most. Uh, then the sponsors declare bankruptcy. They move on. They leave the environmental catastrophe for someone else to, to, to deal with and pay for. But the country's debt will have gone up. And the price of energy will not go down. Uh, it won't go down. The price of energy will continue to go up. For you know, Another economic certainty is that the amount of money that the government is going to print to subsidize the frackers will create inflationary pressures and force the price of energy higher. It doesn't make any sense in any context, in any way, unless you're in the business of selling bonds collateralized by horrible non-economic energy projects, then it makes sense. The government is influenced by consultants who bring in these foreign companies for a quick buck. As long as it's in a gargantuan amount of money up front, everyone involved gets a huge paycheck up front, then they, at that point, they essentially walk away and they let kind of the whole thing fall apart over the next two or three years, but by then they're long gone. So it, it loses on every single possible way you could look at it from an economic point of view.